We're told that the ratio of shirts to dresses to jackets is 9 to 4 to 5. So if we're using the chart, we can, well, as we just did, put it right in our, our ratio row. Ratio row. And just as a review, the way this chart works, this, this row up here represents, well, I think of it as the ratio world. And then this bottom row is the real world. That's where the actual values are, the actual number of shirts and number of dresses and so on. And to get from the ratio world to the real world, we need a multiplier. So if our multiplier were 10, say, then we'd have 90 shirts and 40 dresses and 50 jackets. So what else are we told? If there are more than seven dresses in the closet, all right, so that's a real world value, so we're down here, or real world information, and we're talking about dresses, so we know that the value in this box needs to be greater than seven. So what does that mean? Well, if this number is gonna be greater than seven, what does that mean for our multiplier? Well, it can't be one, right? Then we'd have four times one is four, and that's no good, could it be two? Sure, then I have four times two is eight, and that's good. And so it could be any number two or greater. Now we know our multiplier needs to be greater than or equal to two. And what are we looking for? What is the total number of articles of clothing in the closet? So we're looking for our total, and we don't have a total column yet, so we can just, we can just add one. New column for our, our total. And we're looking for the real world total, the actual number of articles. And we already know the ratio total. The ratio total is just four plus five is nine, plus nine is 18. So really all we're looking for is our multiplier. If we can figure out what number goes in this row, then we'll be able to figure out, well, what to multiply 18 by to get our real total. On to the statements. And I'm going to look at statement number two first, just because it gives us some more concrete info. Statement number two tells us the total number of shirts and dresses in the closet is 26. So shirts plus dresses equals 26. And this is when I really like this chart way of thinking. Once you get comfortable with the chart, you can look at statement number two and know in one second that this is going to be sufficient. And the reason we know it's sufficient is simply that, well, we're given a sum of two of the items, so we know we could use the chart to solve this, and that's enough to know. If, you're, if, you're, if you don't believe me or if you uh, uh, want an illustration, we could use the chart like this. We could say, all right, let's add a new column. New column, this one will be shirts plus dresses. We've got the real world value for shirts plus dresses, which is 26. And we know the ratio world value for S plus D, which is uh, 9 plus 4, or 13. And that's enough to find our multiplier. To get from 13 to 26, we multiply by 2. So to get our total, we multiply 18 by 2 and find that there are 36 total articles. So we know statement number 2 is sufficient, and that gets rid of answer choices A, C, and E. On to statement 1. And before we look at it, I'll just get rid of the uh, info from statement number two, because we're looking at, at, at one on its own. So one on its own. The total, number of shirts and the total number of shirts and jackets in the closet is less than 30. So shirts plus jackets is less than 30. So I guess we can't just look at this instantly as we did with statement number two to know uh, uh, whether or not it's sufficient. Let's, let's see if we can make deductions using the chart. So add a column for S plus J. And we know the actual value of S plus J, this number down here, needs to be less than 30. And what's our ratio value for S plus J? Well, that's just 9 plus 5, 14. So can we make deductions about our multiplier based on this? Well, we already know that it can't be one because we figured from the stem that we need a multiplier greater than or equal to two. So we can't have one. Could it be two? Sure, 14 times two is 28, and that's less than 30, so it's allowed. Could it be three? 
Well, 14 times 3 is 42, and that is not less than 30. So we can't have 3, and we can't have something bigger than 3. The only value that works here is 2. And, well, we've got our multiplier, so we know that the, 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 the real total is 18 times 2, or 36. So statement number 1 is also sufficient, and we know the answer is D.